An Andalusian dog is a 1929 or 1928 French silent film, a French surrealist short film. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the directors are from Spain, uh, Luis Buñuel, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and Salvador Dali. The Salvador Dali. I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> now, I have seen where this film is said to be a French-Spanish film. So, you, oh, please, please tell me <laughs> where to place this. I, I, want, I want to know where to place this film. I just figured that it was because uh, Luis and Salvador were from Spain. Uh, but from what I saw everywhere, the film was released in France. I just figured it was because they were in France at the time. So, um, but anyway, as for the film itself, <laughs> you know, I went in with an open mind because knowing Salvador Dali, <laughs> but wow, th this film has no plot. It, it has no plot at all. And I figured I, <laughs> that it was just me. Well, then I looked in the comments section and there were film students who were, they were told for homework to watch this movie. And they, they were like, it was a big WTF. They were like, what is going on? What is happening? <laughs> so it's not just me. Okay, so I did some research because that's what I do. And as it turns out, Louise and uh, Salvador, when they decided to do this film, what, <laughs> the way it was created, that's what I'm trying to say. How it was created was these two were talking about dreams. And like uh, Louise was talking about this dream that he had where the uh, moonlight was uh, cut like a razor with clouds and everything. Well, that explains the opening scene and all of that, which is a little graphic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, ugh, I, I do have to give that uh, little disclaimer. When you watch it, there is a bit of a graphic scene there <laughs> with an eyeball and a razor. And um, so... He was talking about that, and then Salvador got really excited, and he started talking about how he saw this hand coming out of a doorway with ants all over it. And they just, they continued talking. So this is like their interpretation of, you know how in ancient times they had people actually had jobs as dream interpreters? I kind of feel like this is what this movie is about their perception of dreams so it makes a little bit more sense still has no plot <laughs> i also feel like it's one of those uh, through the eye of the beholder kind of thing so however you see it that's how it is you know because there there were a couple people in the comment section it's like i don't know why people are saying what what the hell because i see it this way well, that's how you see it, you know, <laughs> and that's fine. And so, um, so after reading the fact that this is based off of their dreams and everything, it makes a little bit more sense. Because I, I got to tell you, I wish I had known that before I started watching it. Because <laughs> it, it really made no sense to me, even with going in with an open mind and everything and um, and all of that. So um, just be aware. Yes, and there is a disclaimer to it. There is a scene with uh, a razor and uh, and an eyeball. So just just be aware of that. And um, but I mean, 
Salvador Dali appears because, you know, he, he always had to be in the spotlight somewhere <laughs> in everything he did. Uh, Louise is in it as well. And so, but as for the reception that this movie got, <laughs> surprisingly, it people loved it. I mean, they absolutely loved it. Uh, one of the things that it says is, uh, the audience's positive reception of the film amazed Louise, who was relieved that no violence ensued. Dally, on the contrary, was reportedly disappointed, feeling the audience's reaction made the evening less exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, now, this film does have a sequel. I haven't seen the sequel yet, and uh, but I will be looking for that, and I will do a review for that, a critique on that. Yeah, apparently the, the reviews for this back in the 20s was so much that they wanted him to do another, that they wanted Luis and, and Salvador to do another one. But, you know, you think about back then that uh, surrealism and expressionism and everything was at its peak. So, you know, that's that's what they wanted. <laughs> and And everything, so... You know, and uh, so anyway, yeah, when when you watch this movie, it, it's only not even 20 minutes long. Go in with an open mind. There is no plot. But again, it's based off of their dreams. Salvador Dali is behind it. <laughs> and I'm a huge fan of Salvador Dali. I love his, his artwork and everything uh, beyond the dripping clocks <laughs> yeah i know more than just that one and everything so yeah um and there is a sequel i will be looking for the sequel and and watching that one but anyway so yeah this is a i i am confused if it's a french and spanish film or if it's just called that because the directors were from spain and please let me know in the comments section. I, I would love to hear from you on that because I want to place it in the right category. <laughs> or if it was uh, released in France and so it's a French film, please let me know because right now I, I don't know where, where to place this film. But anyway, that's an Andalusian dog.